In this video, we will be discussing adding and subtracting integers. So let's look at the rules over on this side of the page. So it says use counters to show addition and subtraction of integers. So it says use sides. We're just going to use plus signs and minus signs um, to show whether a number is positive or negative. And we're going to do this with um, the signs first and then once you start to catch on with the signs then you can actually start just doing the math um, But we are not using a calculator for this unit. So this is no a no calculator section And then when we're adding we're combining two different sets So if we look at this example, it says use the counters to find negative 2 plus negative 4 so I'm gonna um, Use this little mat if you want to draw this mat on your desk you can do that. The problem that we're solving is negative 2 plus negative 4. So I'm going to write that up here, negative 2 plus, and that negative 4 was in parentheses. And the reason they put that negative 4 in parentheses is so that the negative doesn't get stuck with the addition sign. Um, so if we were to do this, and like I said, I recommend you do this on your desk. If you want to do this first example in your notebook, that's fine. Um, but you're going to need to re re reuse this sheet over and over and over again. So like I said, I recommend you draw it on your desk or on a whiteboard. So we have negative 2. That's our first number. So I'm actually going to write two negatives over here. And then we have four negatives. So I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4. And then they come together. So if we bring all of this together, so we're going to bring the 2 in, and we're going to bring in the 4, so we have these negative 2, and then we have negative 4. And then we need to come back to this page real quick. So um, we're going to combine them, which is what we did, and then it's asking what is the sum. So we're just going to add them together, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 negatives. So my answer is negative 6. So you can say this equals negative 6. All right, so let's do the first activity and then we can kind of talk through the second activity. So it says use the counters to find each sum. So if you don't want to use the counting mat, that's perfectly fine too. But let me show you how you can do it without using the counting mat. So if we look at A, it's this is a positive 5 plus 6. So you could write it out this way. You could write 5 positives. And then you could also draw, draw 6 positives, but make sure you keep it lined up. So one should match with one. And then we're just going to count them up. So there's going to end up being 11 positives for that one. If we look at B, you have negative 5 plus negative 3. So we can do the same thing. We can draw five negatives. One, two, three, four, five. Three negatives. One, two, three. And then we're just going to count them up because they have all the same signs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight negative 8 because they had negative signs. Same thing with letter C. We draw two negatives for the first one, then we have to draw 12 negatives for the second one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then the 2, so that makes it negative 14. So it says write a rule that will help you determine the sum of integers that have the same sign. Well when they have the same sign, you simply add them together. That's our rhyme. So same sign, add the numbers together, and keep the sign. So if there's positive, they're positive, and if it's negative, they're negative. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky in activity two. So it says use the counters to find the sum. So if we go back to our little mat here, let me erase all of this here. Our first example is negative five plus two. So we have negative five plus two. So if you like using the mat, that's fine. And I'm going to put five negatives over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then this 2 is a positive 2, so it's going to be 2 plus signs. And then when I bring them in, 
from both sides. I have one, two, three, four, five negatives and two positives. Now we need to go back to this page right here. Look at the zero pairs rule. When one positive and one negative are combined, they cancel each other and they make zero. So if I have positive one and I, then I have a negative one, they make zero with each other. So this is a zero right here and they're going to cancel. Zero and they cancel. So really the only answer that I have is this negative three as the answer here. So the answer for this one is going to be negative three. Now if you don't want to use the mat, you can just line them up like we've been doing before. So I'm going to do this positive 10 or yeah, positive 10 plus negative three. So I'm going to draw 10 positives. One, two, and then three negatives. These are canceling because they're opposites of each other. So I'm just left with seven positives. And then the same thing with letter C. I have nine negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One positive. Those are going to cancel because they're opposites. And I'm left with negative eight. So write a rule to help you determine the sum of integers have different signs. When they have different signs, you're going to subtract the numbers and then and keep the sign of the larger absolute value. So what does that mean? Well, if you subtract five minus two, you get three and five has a larger absolute value because it's five spaces away from zero. So it's negative. Same thing with, with this one, 10 has a larger absolute value, so it's positive. Nine has a abs larger absolute value, so it's negative. All right, let's go to the next page. So here's all your rules kind of written out nicely. And then if you really, really, really want to do the song, you can sing the song. Um, it kind of goes to um, that song with the, the, the arm bones connected to the hand bone. So it says, adding integers, ready, begin. A negative, a negative, it's a negative, a positive, a positive, it's a positive, a positive, a negative. Find the difference, use the sign of the biggest one. All right, so let's do some adding integers practice. All you're going to do for this is tell me if it's positive, negative, or zero without adding. Remember, the way that you're able to tell this is which number has the larger absolute value. So, or you can see if they have the same sign. So like this one, they have different signs. So I have to keep the sign of the larger absolute value. So it's going to be negative for this one. These ones have the same sign. So I'm going to add them together and keep the sign the same. This one, signs are different. I have to keep the sign of the larger absolute value, which is positive. You try two, four, and six. So this one will be negative. This one will be zero because, I'm sorry, no, not zero. What am I thinking? This one will be zero because positive three and the negative three will cancel each other. This one will be negative. They're the same sign, so you're just going to add them together. And this one will be positive because 13 has a greater absolute value. Now, another way that you can show integers addition and subtraction is on a number line. And this may make more sense to some of you that are having some trouble with the addition and subtraction signs or positive and negative signs, same thing. If we were to write this problem, we always start at zero and then we're going to move. We go zero and then we go four spaces and then we go another one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So this is four plus six equals 10. You just count how long each arrow is. So in number eight, if I count this one, I start at zero, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for this one, and then it's one, two, three. Now, because I'm going to the left, remember the left is the negative side of the line, so it's negative seven plus negative three equals negative 10, or you could have written this negative seven minus three equals negative 10. Both are correct, and the reason both are correct is because this minus actually tells you that the 3 is negative. 
whereas in this one, the negative tells you that the three is negative and you just had a plus sign out front. So both of these mean the exact same thing. Now, if we look at number nine, number nine gets a little bit tricky because we actually overlap. So this one is one, two, three, four. This arrow is five, but I went in the negative direction, so that's negative five. And then the top arrow is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine long, and it's going in the positive direction. So this is negative five first, because that's where we went from zero, then plus nine, and the answer is right here at the four. So you try 10, 11, and 12. All right, and here are your answers for 10, 11, and 12. So now for this one, you're actually going to draw them. So when you draw them, you start at zero. It's going to work. And then I'm going to move eight. So I'm going to go the whole way out to this eight line. So I'm going to go eight. And then because this is a negative two, I have to subtract two from that. So I'm going to go one, two, and that arrow is going to land right there. So my answer is at positive six. Same thing for the next one. I'm going to start at zero. I'm going to go backwards to negative two. There's the first move. And then I have to go backwards another negative four. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the little jumps because it help me count. One, two, three, four. So that's where your second line ends. And then your answer for that would be negative six. This one, start again at zero. And then you go backwards to negative five. And then you're going to jump forward to five, four, five. So it's going to come straight back to where it started. So it's going to be zero. So you try 16, 17, and 18 on your own. And here are your answers for those three. Now the next page you're going to do as your practice, um, the second half as your practice, um, we're not going to go through this again um, because it will match up with what we did at the, oh, I'm sorry, no, it's not. So this one, you're actually drawing the plus signs and the minus signs. So this is the positive eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then positive five. There's no canceling here, so you just count them up. So it's 13. And these, I want you to actually draw the picture because it wants you to model. So the same thing for this one, this is eight. And then 12, make sure you line them up. Twelve. So cancel, 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 cancel. The whole way out until you can't cancel anymore and so you're left with negative four. Go ahead, try 23 on your own. And then there's your answer for number 23. So for these ones down here, you're actually going to use the rules. So for number 25, same sign, simply add. So 12 plus 3 is 15, and keep the sign the same. So negative 15. 27, signs are different. Find the difference. So 8 minus 2 is 6, and keep the sign of the larger absolute value, which would be 8, so that makes it positive. 29. Signs are the same, simply add. Four plus six is six, or I'm sorry, four plus two is six. And the sign stays the same, so it becomes negative. 31, negative 10, positive three. Remember that plus sign makes the three positive. So signs are different, find the difference. 10 minus three is seven. Keep the sign of the larger absolute value, which is 10. You try 33, 35, and 37 on your own. There's your three answers for those. What I recommend for 35 and 37 is that you do the first part of it first and then tack on the third digit. So now you're going to do this page on your own. And we're going to jump to this. So use the number line to help you answer questions one, two, and three. When you subtract a positive number, so if we have seven minus three, one, two, three, which direction do you move on the number line? Why? I'm going left because I'm making the number less. Now 
Number two, when adding a negative number, like eight plus negative five, which direction do you move? So if I do that again, eight plus negative five, because the five is negative, I still have to go backwards five. So I still go left because I'm still making the number less. So what can you conclude about subtracting a positive and adding a negative number? They are the same thing. So if we look down here at these examples, 10 minus 6 would be 4. 3 minus 9. This is a positive 3, so they have different signs. Find the difference. And when I do that, I get negative 6. Same sign, I'm sorry, different signs, find the difference would be 6, and with the bigger absolute value is negative. And these are the same signs. These are negative, and they're going to be 8. You add them together. Now, when you subtract a negative, like 8 minus negative 12, you have to change the subtraction sign to an and negative sign to an addition sign. Remember to leave the first number alone. So a minus minus becomes a plus. So I just make this big plus signs right there. Both minus signs and become a plus sign. So 7 plus 3 is 10. Negative 4 plus 9, different signs, find the difference, which is 5, positive, because 9 has a greater absolute value. 0 plus 18 is 18. And negative 17 plus 6 becomes negative. And then if you subtract those two, you're left with 11. So tell whether each sum is positive, negative, or zero without subtracting. You did this on the other page. The only thing that's different is in some cases you have to change the minus minus to a plus. So I want you to do those six very quickly. So there's your answers for numbers one through six. So now we need to interpret the models just like we did on the other page. And these ones don't line up perfect. This should be here at that four. So if we count this one, it should be positive 4 this way, and then I'm going to backtrack 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That should be on this line. So I have 4 minus 8 equals negative 4. Okay, it's the same thing that we were doing on the other page. This one should be here. This one should be here. They're a little bit off. Let me check the other one. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to do the, the rest of those up to number 12. And here are your answers for those problems. If we look down the bottom, we're going to continue with our modeling. Remember that minus minus becomes a plus, so we start at zero for these. Go to negative one first, and then I have to add three. So I'm going to go one, two, three and I end there, so I actually end at positive two. Make a mark at zero for number 14. The first number I go to is negative two, so I'm moving the whole way out here to negative two. Then I go negative three, so I have to go continue to the negative direction, three. One, two, three, and I land at negative five. This one, I'm gonna start at zero again. Go to positive five, because that's a positive five. And then minus minus turns into a plus, so I'm actually going to add four more. One, two, three, four. So I actually end at positive nine. You do the last three. And there are your answers for those three. All right, so the last page that we're going to go over is we're just going to practice our modeling again. So for the first one, you have three negatives. This two is a negative. So I'm just going to add them together, so I have five negatives. Careful with number 21, the minus minus turns into a plus. So I have seven negatives, seven positives. They're all gonna cancel because they all match up. So my answer is gonna be zero. You do 23 on your own. All right, and there's your answer for number 23. All right, our last little section that we're gonna do is we're going to use the rules. So remember, minus minus turns into a plus, so that becomes 12 plus 3, which is 15. Minus minus turns into a plus. 8 plus 12 is 
10. These are same signs, so simply add 6. Both are negative, so they stay negative. You do the rest, so 31, 33, 35, and 37. All right, and there's your answer to those ones. Remember when there's like 35 and 37, when there's three digits, you need to, or three numbers, you need to do the first two first, and then you're going to add in the last one last.